Maztec Precision Engineering have only been going 18 months and have already created quite a stir in the aerospace and motorsport sectors. We've travelled here to St Albans and we're going to be learning a lot more about this dynamic company. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Wayne, when was Maztec formed? So uh, we moved into the unit in November 2014. Um, the first machine came in January 2015. Um, six months later, we got the second Mazak. Um, and uh, since then, we're you know growing into a reputable company. Yeah. So where did the name come from? Out of interest, Maztec. Um, so I formed the name uh, because I started off with a Mazak. Um, so I thought it'd be good to incorporate that name into the business. I think getting a new machine from the start is very important. Um, it's the reliability is what you need when you're first setting up. Um, if I'd have bought a machine that was 20 years old um, and then a customer gives me some work and then straight away the machine breaks down, um, I would very quickly find myself in trouble. Um, so I decided to start with a brand new machine um, which has got warranty, uh, service and backup from Mazak. Um, on top of the machine being a lot more reliable and I know everything that the machine's ever done as well as never being crashed etc. Um, so for me it was the only way forwards. And why did you select Mazak? Um, I, I looked at a lot of different machine tools in the market. Um, I've been aware of Mazak for many years. Um, they've got an undisputed reputation in the, in the global market. Um, their service and support is second to none. The machines are absolutely outstanding, um, very accurate. Um, and they're just very nice to work with. Um, and what machines did you buy? Um, I bought a VCS430, which is, um, which is their entry level um, three axis vertical machining center. Um, that was the first machine. The second machine has decided to go for something a bit bigger. Um, I bought a um, one meter travel in X uh, VCS530 with a fourth axis. Um, get much bigger parts on there. They both have 12,000 uh, spindle with through coolant. Um, 30 tools in the carousel. And I noticed you've upgraded to the Nexus 2 control. Why was this? Um, it just, in terms of the graphics, um, they were just, it was, it was a no-brainer. Um, the graphic interface is, is a lot better. Um, the, it's a much bigger screen, a lot clearer to read, um, and it, they just, 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 just nicer to work with, really. And we've upgraded the control. Is there any other options you've gone for on these machines? Yeah, so I actually went for a productivity pack, um, which includes the swarf conveyors, um, through spindle coolant, um, the jet wash around the inside of the machine to keep the swarf, uh, keep the machine clean. Um, it all, all combines, all works together to make the machines a lot more productive um, and uh, to mean that you can run the machines a lot longer and run lights out. Okay, so you're actually running lights out on these machines as well? Yes, we are. So the machines are running 24 hours a day um, and we do that over the weekends and everything. Um, sometimes come in a night load and um, yeah, they run as many hours as we can possibly make them run. So Mazak, they're a massive global company, but they've also got strong roots here in the UK. Was that a large part of your decision making process? It is, yes. Um, if you go up to the Worcester plant, they've got, um, they employ over 700 people. Um, and this, these machines were actually manufactured in the UK um, with a three month lead time. Um, and when I could go up there and see them being built and see them being assembled and tested. Um, and it's a very impressive plant that they've got up there. Um, we've, we've got plans in the future to buy another machine. We've got the room here. Um, we're possibly looking into getting another machine this year um, just to increase the capacity that we can offer to our customers. Um, so yeah, who knows what the future holds and um, watch this space. And would it be a three, four, five axes? I think five axes. Um, I think we're trying to get more into the F1 and motorsport market. We have started doing some F1 work. Um, a five axis is definitely the way forwards. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting more and more complicated jobs come up that five axes is, is the only way to go. Um, so I think the next thing really is to look for a five axis machine and, and see what the market offers. So Wayne, I've read about quite a few startups in the area recently. What's going to make MPE different? I think really, Joe, it's the, uh, the investment in the machinery um, and also myself. Um, I'm obviously the initial port of call when the customers phone up, when they send an email, I'm the person they deal with, as well as doing the work and delivering it myself and all the rest of it, and I make the effort to 
um, to make sure that I visit the customers face to face. Um, the customers obviously like dealing with me and I think that that's a, a very good point of the, of the, of the business. Um, and I say apart from that it's the investment, if you see there's only high end, the highest end kit here um, that we have um, and I think that makes us slightly different from all the rest. Okay, well I'd like to congratulate you on your first 18 months in business and no doubt we'll pop back soon and see you continue to grow. I look forward to it, yeah, I think that would be great and um, yeah, watch this space, we'll probably be moving units next year into a bigger unit and um, yeah, more machines, We've got an apprentice starting in four weeks time, so um, yeah, growing slowly, um, but yeah, good stuff.